This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm on is For Loops with B Puzzle 12, and it is the bum -ba -da -dum Challenge Puzzle. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. I will, and I'm ready. Challenge. Take what you've learned about For Loops and try to solve this problem. Remember, you may have to run through solutions multiple times before you figure out all the steps. Oh, I'm sure. This is going to be complicated, I bet. All right. So, what we've learned. I'm going to start by just, they want us to use 14 blocks or less. I'm going to start like I often do, just by like clicking blocks down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. All right. Four, and this is why our loops are nice, but I'm just going to do this little fashion way to kind of get a picture of what we're doing here. Five, six, seven. <laughs> and I ran into the wall. Uh, okay, I guess I need to turn left. And that makes sense because I turn left down here and left here. And by left, I mean right, and that makes sense because I turn right down here and right here. Oh, boys. All right. Seven. Okay, so there's seven. There's enough bricks now. And then I'm going to turn and I want to move again. How much do I want to move, though? Is it taking away one each time? So we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we went one, two, three, four, five. Then we went one, two, three. So it's minus two each time. Interesting. Okay, so if it's minus two each time, we know we're going to use counter. That would get us around. All right, so what would get us around here? We're going to grab our loop counter. And we're going to start at, well, I guess 7. And we're going to go to, I guess, 1. And we're just trying to get around the board right now. And what do we want to change it by? Well, 2 each time. Let's see what this does. Move forward. Let's hit reset and, oh, whoops, loops. Because this will just do once each time as we count down from 7. We need to loop this. How many times do we want to repeat forward? however much counter is equal to. And I need to start out by turning to the right. Okay, so that does get us around the board, but doesn't actually get us any nectar. So, what do we need to get nectar? Well, when this is 7, right, the first time we run it, Nectar is 14, right? So when we move forward 7, Nectar is actually 14. After 7, boop, we go down by 2 each time. So from 7, what does it become? Count becomes 5. And Nectar is actually 10. Ooh, I'm noticing something. Once we go through this, if counter is 5, then what is the next counter? Well, we go down by 2, so if counter's 5, counter would next be 3, okay? And then what is nectar? 6. Nectar each time is double. When we, at the beginning, we're going to go down 7. What is nectar? 14, right? And then once we run through this, count down by 2, well, 7 minus 2 is 5, and what would nectar be? 10. So the nectar is double the counter each time. I have a plan. What if we do a loop, another repeat loop for gathering nectar? We use math because it can't just be count because count isn't going to be correct. It's count times 2 each time. So count times 2, we want to do what? Get nectar. And I'll walk through this in a second. This is all really complicated. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to hit step. What should happen from the get-go is count should be equal to, counter should be equal to 7, and we're going to turn right. Counter 7, we turn right. Now I'm moving forward once, zoop, twice, 
Count it seven, three times. So repeat seven times, that says. Four, five, six, seven. And now I should be done. Now, since I'm done, we drop below and run the next line. Repeat counter times two. Well, what was counter? Counter seven, right? So seven times two is what? 14. So repeat 14 times is what the computer says. Do get nectar, then get nectar, then get nectar 14 times. And we'll just keep going. And once it gets it 14 times, like now, we're done with that loop, hits the bottom, loops back around, and we should turn right. Now that we've turned right, boom, repeat counter times, move forward. What's counter? Well, it was 7, but we went around again. 7 minus 2, because we're counting down by 2, is 5. So we turned right, and now repeat 5 times, because that's what counter is equal to. Now, once we've done that five times, we're done. Repeat counter times two. Well, what's counter this time? It's five. Five times two is ten. So the computer reads this as repeat ten times, get nectar. One, two, three, and we should get all the nectar. Let's run the whole thing and see. But uh we are doing some complicated programming. So if you're understanding this, awesome. Uh, let's keep going.